Hello? Check, check. Well, the study of primate evolution is really uh, uh, done best when people try to integrate studies of living primates and fossil primates. So for living primates, we can know a lot about the species, where they lived, how they lived, their morphology, their biology, their genetics. Uh, and we can know a lot about these animals, whereas when we're looking at the fossil record, we know a lot about where and when and their history. Uh, but we don't always have exceptionally uh, well-preserved fossils, but they do document the actual time and place and the history of these animals. And they also document many animals that don't exist today, and they could be quite similar to these animals, and they could be quite different. So they work together to paint the fullest picture of the evolution of the primates. Well, some of my work on primate molecular divergence dates uh, shows us that some of the main groups of primates actually originated quite early in time, a little bit earlier than some of the fossil dates suggest. Uh, so for example, some of the data from primate molecular studies suggest that primates originated during the time of the dinosaurs in the Cretaceous, and that's kind of a surprising finding. Uh, I, there, at some parts of the primate tree, there is a good correspondence between some of the fossil species that we found and the molecular <clears throat> evidence. But for other parts of the tree, like for example, the earliest primates, the earliest modern primates, there's actually a big disconnect. So some of the oldest fossil primates are maybe 55 to 60 million years old, but some of the fossil divergence states are older than 70 million years old. So there's actually a little bit of a, a disconnect between these two types of studies. Well, I think that the most important thing to do is to have the geneticists and the paleontologists work together to try to figure out uh, what, the, what the reason is for this kind of disconnect between the dates obtained. And there are a lot of promising avenues of research that are being opened up now with regards to things like life history or new methods or more data. And there's definitely more uh, paleontological work that's being done at different times and places. And I think together uh, this work will, will come to a, a better understanding of the evolution of primates throughout history.